What is going on guys? In today's video, I'm going to show you how to control your slides in OBS. So say you have, you're running some slides for a webinar presentation or any other sort of presentation, right? Where you have slides that you're showing in OBS and be able to control those using a stream deck. So it's going to be a quick video. I just want to show you a little quick. If you can see in my OBS right now, I have a presentation uh, and I have some slides that I brought in. And as you can see with my stream deck, I can click a button. Boom. Boom. So basically with a stream deck, I'm just, I'm able to, you know, kind of control my slides. Just get, uh, click go forward or backwards, whatever, and be able to control my slides using some buttons on my stream deck. So I'm going to show you how to set that up and we're starting right now. All right, so we got my slides here. And of course, if you don't know how to add slides, basically you go to the plus sign here and then you go to image slideshow. Okay. And then you hit okay. And then under this, basically you want to make sure you change the slide mode to manual. Okay. So you can use what they call, I mean, Hot keys to control your slideshow so you can control that manually. If you don't do this, your slides are just going to keep playing uh, on their own. And then transition, you can choose fade, swipe, cut. Personally, I like to use this slide. Yeah, slide. Okay. And then the timing and everything, I just leave it the way it is. And playback mode. I mean, even if you leave it on loop, you can do once or loop it doesn't matter don't do random because random is just gonna be you know you can just leave it on loop anyways because you're controlling them manually so it doesn't matter okay now once you get here you need to define the size of your slideshow so usually i design my slideshow in canva i like to do 1080 by 1080 because i want to have my camera on the side but if you want to do like normal 1920 by 1080 you can do that and basically what you need to do uh, the best way is to click here under the plus sign. If you do add directory, it sounds really interesting, but I tried it. It's basically having a folder where OBS is going to bring or pull up some, you know, it's going to go look for your slides. It works. But the good thing is if you update that folder, OBS is going to update, you know, automatically. But the downside about it is that I actually I tried it. Maybe something that I did wrong and it doesn't follow the order of your slides so that's why i didn't i decided not to do it anymore so now I, what i do i go to add files and usually i have my slides designed in canva i download them uh, in a specific folder uh, and i will just go ahead and look for that specific folder so for this one if i go here yeah so basically i'll have them here these are all my slides so what I do, I would just like do like this, select the first one as like from Canva, just like one JPEG, two JPEG, three JPEG. So they are kind of numbered, which is awesome. And I would just select everything. I just hit shift on my keyboard, right? And then select everything and then uh, hit open. All right. And as you can see, they're going to show up in here and then hit OK, right? So they're going to show up like this. Uh, and obviously the ones that I have, I added some effects and everything. I can show you that in a different video, but I just wanted you guys to see how I bring in slides. Okay. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to go ahead and delete this one that I just added because we don't need it. And of course you will have your camera here again. Right now my camera is not showing because it's being used in a different software, but my camera usually is here and that's how I would run my slides. All right. So now once I'm done adding my slides, so basically we're going to be using this, these ones right here. As you can see, again, if I go to property is exactly the same thing that we just did. Okay. Playback mode, just change it to once. That's what I do. I just want to make sure you don't have any issues. Okay. So as you can see, all my slides are in here, right? So that's it. Okay. So if I click to the slides, as you can see with your mouse, you can even like go to the next slide, right? right no problem you can control this but if you're running a presentation this is probably something that you cannot do it's gonna be hard to be clicking and looking at them and everything because you're presenting right 
So the best way is you can use what we use, we call hard keys. Now with hard keys, you can either control them with one of your keyboard keys, or you can use a stream deck, which is what I'm going to show you how to do. Okay. So what we need to do, the first thing we need to going to put everything back to slide number one. And then what I need to do is we go to settings and then we go to hard keys. Okay. Usually hard keys, you're going to see a super long list here. Okay. And what we need to do, you can actually search. So if you type in slide, okay, you're going to see all the, uh, you know, the hard keys that correspond to, to, to slides, right? And then um, you're going to see this one, add slide vertical 1080 by 1920. And then there was another one, probably not. Okay, so it's this one. Okay, so the reason why you know it's going to say the name of the source. So if I close this real quick, I just want to show you the name of the source here it's called add slides vertical 1080 by 1920. So we know these are the right slides that we're trying to control. Okay, so that's important. So I go back again to settings and I go to hard keys and then just type in slide right and then it's gonna show up here at slide very cool so that's the name of the source now your sources may be different probably not gonna be the same now so we have two options we can assign to hard keys the first one is next slide and then another one is previous slide okay so now what i can do is i can go ahead and just uh, actually delete this all right and go to this and delete so what you do usually you can start with actually your keyboard, actual keyboard. So let me show you what I would do with my keyboard. And this is part of my keyboard. Okay. So basically what I need to do is for next. Okay. You just press the key that you want to use to go to the next slide. So I can press this. Uh, OBS is going to just remember or register that key. And then for previous slide, I can just choose this. And once I'm done, I hit apply and hit OK, right? So now if I hit this on my keyboard, you can see that it's changing the slides to next, next, next. If I choose this one, it's going to go to the previous one, right? Uh, like to the previous slides, right? Gonna keep going, right? So that's that's done. That's that's it. Now, if you don't have a stream deck, you can still use your keyboard just as you present and you can just keep talking. Hey, what's up, guys? My name is Sam. And then you just. Right. That's it. So now what we're going to do is we're going to set it up with the stream deck now, because if you have a stream deck, stream deck, you're probably running some other stuff. In fact, if I show me my stream deck right now, I already have my full show have my intro right my intro scene i have my main scene here which is like usually there's a camera there but my camera again is being used somewhere else and then i have my presentation scene which is the welcome scene i mean the uh, slide scene with my camera next to it okay and then i have like some videos and everything i don't want to show you everything but i just want to show you like my whole show is here on the stream deck and I can run it without looking. I can just hit a button and go to the next scene, hit a button. And I also have like to control my slides. I can just simply, you know, use this button here, the, the next and the previous button to go back. Right. So I will be running my show and just like, Hey guys, blah, blah, blah. I uh, just say hello in the chat. And then uh, if you have something that you're grateful for, this is a gratitude moment, blah, blah, blah. And I keep going. Right. So how do you do it now with the Stream Deck? All you need to do is we're going to go ahead and open the Stream Deck up. Uh, you should have it. If you don't have it, you can just download it. All right. And this is what it looks like. OK, so what we need to do is we're going to go to what we call hat keys. So type in, go here in the search bar and just type in hat key. All right. So as you type in hat, you're going to get this one, activate a key command. So we're going to go ahead and choose, uh, just drag it and drop it 
to any button on the stream deck that we want okay and then title we can call it next next slide usually you don't want to put too many words so we're just gonna put it next uh call it next and then it's gonna ask you click to assign so i'm gonna click okay and then what i'm gonna do i'm gonna go to my keyboard and type the same key that we use on my keyboard right so i'm just gonna go hit right okay so again let me show you a little quick what i just did that's my keyboard so where it says click observing key key strokes whatever all you need to do is you just go here and then choose the key that you want to assign to the hat key and that's pretty much it so basically it's like i'm taking that key from my keyboard transferring it to my stream deck and that's pretty much it so whenever i hit this key it should change the slide right it does exactly the same thing as using my keyboard key okay basically copying a shortcut from your actual keyboard into the stream deck that's pretty much it guys so now as you can see i can use it either if i use my keyboard it will still work or i can use this hard key that we just created on the stream deck and it will still work as you can see i'm changing my slides no problem okay so after that what you need to do obviously you're not gonna leave it like this you need to add an icon so we can go ahead and add an icon here so click to the plus sign and then uh look for an icon that kind of looks like next right so let's say next as you can see there's some icons here that you can use so i like this one with the color this that's the one that i use on my other key and once you're done just close and as you can see it looks a little cleaner right so next now for previous slide is exactly the same thing i already have it here but all you do really is just grab the hard key drop it in there and say let me say replace because i want to show you guys how i did it and then i can call it previous or just prev right and then it says click to assign just click there and then i'm just gonna go to my keyboard and then use the uh the arrow key the backwards kind of left arrow key and that's pretty much it now it's assigned now what i can do is i can go ahead and change the icon hit the plus sign and then just i can search in here prev and i got something here so we can use that one looks good and then boom so now we have our next in the previous uh kind of key on the stream deck we don't need our keyboard anymore you can simply use our stream deck right here and of course because this one i don't need it anymore i can just delete it because i already have the two keys but as you can see now i'm able to change my slides no problem on my stream deck i can go forward i can go backwards no problem with these two keys now with this uh kind of slide transition sometimes it's kind of weird when you're going backwards it's like you still in, in your brain your brain thinks that you're going forward because the slide is going only uh one di direction which is kind of weird <laughs> maybe i wish there was a way to change that so when you go backwards you can slide that like, kind of you know in the opposite uh, direction but for now it is what it is again you're not supposed to be going backwards uh kind of multiple times when you're doing uh some this kind of uh, presentation so for me it works but uh, again you can go ahead and play with the transitions and see what works for you actually so guys what you just saw is how to control your slides using a stream deck however if you want to know how i built my entire webinar presentation using obs again this could be a webinar it could be any other online presentation it could even be a live stream right i have made a video showing you exactly how to do that including a free template that you can download actually and implement and use it in your own show and the stream deck hard keys are going to be already configured for you so if you want to see that video and get that template for free you want to make sure you click to this video right here and i'll see you there guys take care